Thank you. Um, hello, my name is Eitan, and I'm a member of the Industrial IoT Support Team, which is part of the IIoT Development Group here in MIL. This webinar deals with Motorola Industrial IoT System over Astro P25 infrastructure. The objectives of this webinar are to understand what is in an industrial IoT solution and how, do, how can a Motorola Astro P25 system be utilized for an industrial IoT solution. First, let us clarify the terminology used when dealing with industrial IoT, also known as SCADA and M2M. SCADA, which stands for a Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, refers to a real-time process control system used to uh, centrally monitor and control remote or local equipment such as motors, valves, pumps, relays, sensors, etc. SCADA is a combination of telemetry and data acquisition. M2M, which stands for Machine to Machine, refers to Intelligent Electronic Device uh, also known as IEDs, uh, in acronym, uh, is used for data connecti connectivity and communication to expand the user's operational view and control. IoT, which stands for Internet of Things, refers to a network of physical objects that features an IP address for data connectivity and communication across a network of networks. The term network of networks stands for a combination of, of communication networks capable of working together to collect and communicate data across operations. So industrial IoT stands for connect, connecting operational and, inf and information technology across industrial and critical infrastructure environments to leverage data for the process automation and monitoring is necessary to increase productivity. The figure in front of us displays the key entities in Motorola IIoT solution. Our SCADA RTU serves as an IoT gateway to various IoT sensors and operational technologies. The collected data is transported over LMR or other communication networks to an HMI via the FEP, which stands for front and processor gateway. The FEP provides a two-way path to the communication system between the RTUs and the IIoT manager host entities. The HMI can be manned, uh, a manned control center or a mobile application device such as a smartphone, a tablet, etc. The multiple IIoT RTUs, gateways, and FEPs in the system may communicate over high sophisticated hybrid data communication networks by utilizing a variety of radios and or line communication links. Radio links may include conventional analog trunked, digital trunked, and both analog and digital microwave radio te uh, technologies. The, l the links may include point-to-point -point multi-drop, cellular packet modems, and local area networks. The IIoT RTU may communicate with other RTUs with one or more computerized control centers that are connected to the com communication network and with third-party PLCs and other devices. Each RTU can communicate with the control center via other RTUs that serves as a store and forward or a network communication node in the overall network, hence ext extending the communication coverage and lowers its costs. The IIoT RTU communicates upwards with control centers and downward uh, with uh, third-party uh, intelligent devices and PLCs using a variety, of, uh, a variety of standard protocols such as Modbus, DNP3, and other specialized drivers. Motorola offers several RTU and FEP modules types in the company IoT portfolio. The A36 RTU combines the local processing of a PLC with the superior communication of a remote terminal unit for an all-in-all high-performance unit. It allows seamless integration with multiple PLCs, RTUs, and intelligent electronic devices. 
It has a, pow a powerful processor combined with the versatile input-output modules, allowing this RTU to be used for the most demanding IoT applications, such as electri electric utilities, oil and gas, water and w wastewater, siren, PA, and many more. The ACE 1000 RTU facilitates, facilitates high reliability and interoperability at a lower cost. Its powerful processor combined with flash and RAM memory allows this RTU to be used in the most demanding IIoT environments. The ACE 1100 FEP is used at the central site, of, uh, at the central site to provide a two-way path to the communication system and to, rem to the remote ACE 1000 RTUs from the IoT manager entity. This FEP supports a standard IoT protocol to communicate with the IoT manager and interface with the RTU via MDLC. It, is al it also provides the ability to mirror all information from the remote ACE 1000 RTUs to the IoT control center, so no direct interrogation from the control center to remote sites is required. The ACE IP gateway, also known as ACE 4600, is an IoT, IIoT gateway from the ACE 1000 to ACE 3600 RTU to the IoT control center. It acts as an, an interface between the MDLC world and the TCP IP world. Motorola offers M2M system in the, com in the company's IoT portfolio. The IRM1500 system supports a multiple of data applications over the Astro P25 integrated voice and data radio system. It befits the needs of personal and public works, electricity utility, and petrochemical markets to know exactly what is happening in their distribution systems at all times. The IRM1500 modem transports in, in, incoming data from RS-232 or RS-485 over the air while utilizing the P25 data channel to the IRM1500 server, which resides in the customer uh, enterprise network, also known as SEN, and is connected to the IoT manager entity. Now that we have established some background as to what the IIoT solution is, I would like to go over how it can be utilized over the Astro P25 infrastructure. The MDLC is Motorola proprietary protocol, which incorporates all seven layers of the OC standard adapted for the IIoT. This protocol is optimal for narrow band communication channels. The Motorola IIoT network utilizes, utilizes this op, uh, proprietary MDLC protocol so both FEP and each RTU has all the seven layers of the MDLC protocol available to them. The MDLC facilitates communication amongst all sites in the system. It supports multiple logical channels per RTU physical communication port, enabling simultaneous central to RTU uh, and RTU to RTU sessions. It also enables each RTU to simultaneously run several kinds of communications, such as reporting alarms by con contention or online monitoring, performing extensive diagnostic checks, etc. The PTP and PMP links stands for point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint links could be two-way radios, leased line, LAN, WAN, uh, or multiple uh, multi-drop wireline. In Astro P25 integrated voice and data, uh, data topology, the connection to the Astro infrastructure can be made via LAN on the front end unit or via radio on the RTU. The LAN has to be connected to the CEN, to the SEN, which is uh, also an acronym, again, for the Customer Enterprise Network. Uh, an ACE IP gateway or ACE 1100 FEP with an Ethernet port can be connected to the SEN. 
On the other end, the RTE running the MDLC uh, over IP protocol is connected to a mobile or portable Astro APX IVND radio using a USB cable. The IRM 1500 RTU has an em embedded R uh, Astro P25 APX 4000 radio. On ACE 3600, the connection to the mobile radio is done via an RS-232 PPP connection. In order for the RTU to communicate over the Astro IV and D infrastructure using the Astro I uh, digital radio, the infrastructure must be properly configured using the UCM tool, which is an acronym for User Configuration Manager. A unique IP address is assigned by the GPRS, uh, which is the Gateway Support Node, uh, uh, or in short, uh, GGSN, to, uh, for each RTU according to its radio individual unit ID. So when a frame is transmitted from the SEN to, the, to that IP address, the packet data router, or PDR in short, and radio network gateway, the RNG, in short, uh, transmits the frame to the appropriate radio over the air. A PC running the SPS tool or the web browser, which are the ACE configuration tools, could be connected directly to the RTU or could operate remotely over the SEN. In order to facilitate an industrial IoT system utilizing the NVLC communication protocol over Astro P25 system, both the infrastructure and radio should support the integrated voice and data feature, which is also known in short as IVND, as I mentioned before. This is relevant to Motorola subscriber data radio, such as APX 6500LI mobile and APX 4000 portable radios. The RTU would request the radio during the port initialization to perform contacts activation as part of the registration to the infrastructure. Only if the contacts activation succeeds, the unit will be able to communicate over the air. Please note that the reference to the word modem on this slide is for the IRM 1500 RTU, which encapsulates the APX 4000 RTU. Although the Astro P25 IVND system supports group calls, which could be utilized as RTU to RTU broadcasts, they are known to have significant delays between group call initialization and the unit receiving the data. So, to avoid delays, it is preferable to transmit to each RTU separately and sequentially, rather than send a group call, which might end up with a big delay. It is important to understand that each RTU or M2M modem is an Astro IoT system, owns dynamic IP address, uh, owns a dynamic IP address, and are familiar only with the FEP or M2M server static IP address. The communication from one RTU to another RTU must be routed through the FEP due to Astro P25 IVND limited resources. To summarize this webinar, we have described what is an industrial IoT solution and how it is utilized, uh, how it utilizes the Motorola Astro P25 system for an astro, uh, industrial IoT solution. Thank you for watching Motorola Solution Industrial IoT over Astro P25 Radio Infrastructure webinar.